YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy Elton, and today it's gonna talk about this whole 2022 resolution thing everybody's bringing up. As you guys already know, it's a whole new year. It's a new year of possibility into adding new changes into your life. And we all have goals. We all have things we wanna do and ideas on what we wanna do this year. But I wanted to make this video today specifically towards my gentlemen and teaching them and giving you guys advice and things to look forward to in this year. Now I'm gonna name a couple things you guys should try to look forward to on what you should start doing and take that first step. And this is something I started last year and I'm still learning myself. I'm still doing these things, but you guys take a quick minute and we gonna get right into this. So the first thing I'm gonna bring up is start going to the gym. Look, lots of guys, lots of us right now are just, we just wanna play our video games. We wanna do this, we wanna do that. And we, the last thing we really wanna do is go out of our way to go to the gym. And we all know it takes a long time to see progress. It takes a long time and learning everything. It's just, it's not easy. And I know how it be and I know how it feel cause I've been there. We all been there that started, that already go to the gym. We know how it is. But I'm gonna tell y'all, look, with this channel, I'll teach you guys um, workouts to do and how to plan your workouts. But most importantly, you guys gotta understand that if you're a teenager, as a man in this society, you gotta you gotta start getting your life straight, bro. Not even just man, like everybody as a teenager in general, you guys gotta get your life straight. You gotta plan these things. And if you wanna improve, what you gotta do is you gotta start going to the gym. Take that first step, as hard as it is, if you don't know what where to go, you could even start at Planet Fitness for all you, like you could start there. That's where I started and that's pretty much where I go still now. You can go to Planet Fitness, you know, start working out there and take that first step. If you don't know anything, if you don't know what to do, go there, right? Sign up for a membership. The first day you go, go and try everything. Look at what people are doing, observing. And when you go home that day and you finish, you know, trying whatever you think you know, or what you don't know, come home, research, and you'll learn. You're never going to start going to the gym if you never take that first step. But you guys got to understand, going to the gym is very important. Lots of us now are, we are very skinny. Some of us are even overweight. And we need to get that in check, for real. That's, it don't look good. Some of y'all complain about how nobody likes y'all. No girls look your way. But, nigga, look at yourself, bro. You, bro, come on. You here overweight. Like, come on. Your, your stomach takes like 90% of your whole body and you complain about these things. And the first thing you gotta do, you gotta start going to the gym. As hard as it is, you can make time. Some of us make the excuse of, I don't have time. You you have time, but we have 24 hours in a day. Some of y'all dudes be sleeping like 12 hours in one day and wake up at like 2 p.m. Like bro, wake up earlier, start going to the gym, take that first step. And you guys can always comment questions in the in the comments below or even go to my social medias and i'll help y'all out but take that first step guys you guys got to take that first step second thing i want to bring up is get a job or start saving money look lots of us we work and we just spending our money doing whatever we want going out with our girls you know our boys or whatever and we buying things and we spending our money and look, it, you know, it's fun. We want to have fun. It's like probably our first time ever getting a job and having money to ourselves that we actually worked for. But you guys also got to understand you should start saving up money. Sure, some of us don't have a goal specifically on what well, like what we want to save the money for. But always think, even if I'm making this, you don't always spend it. Don't spend everything. Save a small portion. Let's say you get paid like $200. Save $50, spend $150. Over time, you save up money, maybe like four years from now, or even like a couple months after, after you're saving up money, you're gonna have money at some point. You know, you're gonna have a huge percentage of your money that you worked for saved up. And it's really important to save money because you never know when something's gonna happen. Maybe one day you're gonna be like, you know what, I wanna buy a car. And you got no money. Bro, what you, what, you, what you gonna buy a car with if you have no money? You already spent it all. Even if you don't have a lot of money, having money saved up, not only do, are you gonna have money to yourself, but you're also gonna practice something called discipline. And discipline is pretty much you um, stop, you having a mindset of telling yourself, 
I am or I'm not going to do something. Discipline is something very hard to learn. And I'm still learning this myself. But learning discipline through saving money is something that's really going to help you and shape you in a certain way in life. Money is really important in this life. Financial, um, financially, things in this life is really important. And we all need to start learning how to save money. Save money, put it in a piggy bank, put it somewhere, just save money. Learn to save money. Because if you don't and you just keep spending your money, at some point, you're going to be working for years and you're going to be like, I don't got shit in my life. You don't have nothing because you spent it all. You got to start learning this at a young age. So by the time you're an adult, you have this already, like, you have this down. Now, also an idea of saving money. Some of us don't even have jobs. Look, I know a lot of dudes out there that are 16, 17, 18, 19, even 20 year olds that have, they don't even have a job, bro. Some of us, some of y'all watching right now, y'all don't have a job. I don't know if you have like, you know, oh, I can't get a job because of this. I can't get a job because of that. But we got to understand that at some point, you can't use those excuses forever. We need to get a job. Like if you're a teenager and you're not working, even if you don't, even if you don't like, you don't need to work. Oh, my parents, they're rich or whatever reason you have, you need to start working, bro. You're at some point in life, you're you're gonna be in control. At some point when you're like 20 and you're in control and you have no experience whatsoever in saving money, you, you never got a job before, you're gonna be so lost. And it's important to get a job now. Get a job now, take that first step. And some of us are really, really lazy when it comes to getting a job. We apply to one job and we just, uh, they didn't accept me, I don't care. Like, come on, bro. Just keep applying, practice interviews, write down your resume, get that down, get that job right now, and start start grinding, bro. Start, start taking time and learning things. And when you get your job, try to keep the job and make yourself some money when you're in high school, whatever grade you're in, you know? But this is specifically to my teenage guys out there. All right, so the last thing I want to bring out, and this is going to be... A lot of people watching this are probably gonna be laughing. They're probably gonna feel uncomfortable listening to this. But third thing I'm gonna say is stop beating the meat, bro. A lot of us teenagers, are, this whole society puts this thing into us where it's like, you know, it's so easy to find websites out there and find all these things and we keep masturbating constantly. But you guys gotta understand, stop doing that. Every time you're doing that, you're losing testosterone. And we all know testosterone is the male hormone, bro. If you're losing it, Think about it. Every time you masturbate, every time you beat your meat, bro, right after, how do you feel? You feel so relaxed. You feel so tired. You don't even have energy. Obviously, because you're spending it, bro. Look, masturbation is probably the worst thing. Not even, not even probably. It's the worst thing for a man to do. If you're masturbating, bro, you're, things are going to be so hard for you. Because you're putting, you're taking all your energy out. And this is not some spiritual thing. This is just facts. Every time you beat your meat, you feel tired. You feel lazy. You don't feel like doing nothing. Some of us beat our meat to go to sleep. Like, look, every time you beat your meat, dopamine increases in your brain, bro. Dopamine, it, it's a chemical and it increases and testosterone goes down. And then we're just, we have no energy. We're, we're weak. Stop beating your meat. Everybody listening to this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you all this right now. I have a goal for you. Maybe you're not going to do this for the whole year. Sometimes you're probably going to fail trying to stop beating me. I'm going to give you all this goal, right? For one month, do this thing called semen retention. And I'll probably make a video about this later on in the future. But semen retention is pretty much when, a, when you go a certain amount of time without releasing your semen at all. Don't release it at all. And I, and I want you guys to take one month. Take one month. Maybe start this January as of right now. Or maybe tell yourself, I'm going to start this on February. Take one month. Stop beating me. Look at the difference, your life, how big your life will change, bro. All it takes is just stop masturbation. And you're going to feel more motivated. You're going to feel stronger. You're going to have more energy. Your skin is going to be clearer. Your um, hair is going to grow out thicker. And most importantly, most importantly, one of the biggest problems in today's society with men, 
is they can't last in bed, bro. You can't last in bed. And I'm not saying a lot of us are going to be having sex, but I'm just saying. Come on now. The reason y'all y'all can't last is because y'all keep beating at me. Simple. Period, bro. Come on. And that's not even the biggest reason I'm trying to bring up this whole semen retention thing. Because when you save up all the testosterone in your body, you feel really, really motivated. You feel like doing things and taking the first step into new things all the time. You're like, you know what? I'm going to start doing this. Look, as of right now, go out, search up. What's the benefit of semen retention? You're going to see, you're going to see that this is actually facts. I'm not, I would never lie to y'all, bro. I know it's a whole new channel, but I would never lie to none of y'all. Semen retention is the best thing a man can do for himself. And I want you guys to do that. It's going to decrease stress, anxiety, depression. Lots of us are in this state because we keep beating our meat, bro. Stop doing it, man. Stop doing it. Now, I'm going to go on to more into this whole semen retention thing. I'll probably make a video soon about this and help y'all out. But the whole point of this video is it's it's a whole new year, 2022. We all look forward to it. We all want to make improvements in our life. And lots of us are probably not going to do shit. Keep it in the bucket show, bro. We're probably not going to do shit this year. Lots of us tell ourselves every year, I'm going to change my life. Last year, the, the, the year before, y'all be telling yourself y'all want to change your life. But y'all never do nothing. But I'm telling y'all right now. One, start going to the gym. Take that first step. Go to the gym, try out new workouts. And if you don't know anything, just hit the treadmill. And every time you go home, just do research. And keep an eye on this channel. I'll be making videos and helping y'all out. Two, get a job and save money. Just save money. Maybe you don't even have to have a goal on what you want to save for or how much you want to save. Just always save a certain portion of your money. I recommend save 30% of every paycheck you get, save 30% of it. And go all out on the rest of it. Start off like that. And third, practice semen retention. Stop beating your meat. Stop doing these things people are forcing to you. And then you just, you have no energy afterwards. But that's pretty much for the video today, man. I'll go on to more of these topics in the future in this channel. But I really hope this, I really hope this video helped y'all out. Especially to my young men out there. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.